So these problems ask you to go the other way, saying what is the hydronium ion concentration of the solution with a pH of 7.4. And hopefully we remember that hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So it's equal to 10 to the negative 7.4. Now you can't turn it in like that. You have to actually do the math. So I will show you this math on a scientific calculator online. I use Google's, but you can use any one you want. When you come to Google's calculator, or whichever calculator you might be using, you might not see the 10 to the x button. For this calculator, you have to hit inverse in order to see the inverse functions like 10 to the x. So you say 10 negative 7.4 equals 3.98 times 10 to the negative 8. So our hydronium ion concentration is 3.98 times 10 to the negative 8. And this is a measurement, so you still must put units on it. And because it's a concentration, the units are molarity. So again, the hardest part about this is is figuring out how to put it in your calculator and keeping straight pH and pOH and hydronium and hydroxide. Let's look at this next one. It's asking you to solve for hydroxide, but it gives you pH. Remember, we know the concentration of hydroxide is equal to 10 to the negative pOH. But with our pH, we can get our pOH pretty easily be 14 minus 8.1. Our pOH is 5.9. So this is equal to 10 to the negative 5.9. And let's go back to our calculator and see what that is. We have to hit inverse again negative 5.9. This one is not given to us in scientific notation, but we can easily put it in there if we would like. So we move our decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 1.26 times 10 to the negative 6. One point two six times ten to the negative six molarity. And if you wanted to keep it that long decimal, you can. But I find that if you tend to write out that many zeros, you end up leaving one off and messing up your entire answer. 